Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I have an announcement to make. I have decided that no matter what it takes, I am going to go to VidCon this year. Um, unfortunately, I can only go one day, but today has lit sort of a fire under me because I found out that uh, a creator that I've talked about a lot on this channel Gabby Hanna is going to be performing a concert at VidCon. And so this is something that I've been thinking about doing for a while. And today was like, nope, we're doing it. Nothing's going to stop us from doing it. So for starters, I'm going to talk about why going to VidCon is important to me. First of all, um, I'm only going to be able to go on the last day because of how my work schedule works. Um, but I've decided that that's worth it to me. Um, I'm still going to get to see a lot of the creators that I want, even if I can't do any of the meet and greets or anything like that. Um, and for a long time, I've had this bug to like do a solo travel trip because that's something that I've never done before. Um, and I think it would be a really exciting adventure. Um, so I'd like to kind of start talking about um, what going to VidCon and what VidCon really means to me. Um, for starters, VidCon this year, it just so happens to fall on the one year anniversary of when I started this channel. Um, so that in and of itself, I feel like is really symbolic. Um, and it'll be the first time that I'm in a community of people uh, that I'm like physically in the YouTuber community, which is the community obviously that I want to be a part of. Um, and so I think that in of itself, it will be really cool. Um, but also I feel like just accomplishing this goal in and of itself is sort of like a way to prove to myself that I want this and that I'm willing to do anything to um, make my dream come true. So I'm putting it out there into the universe. Um, I'm going to VidCon, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. So that being said, I have to figure out how I'm gonna pay to go to VidCon. Um, the most expensive thing I think is gonna be my plane ticket because I obviously live in Texas and VidCon is in California. So there's that. And the other thing on top of that is that I really want to try to not use my um, regular income to pay for this trip. I wanna try to use as much as of my side hustle income as possible so that I don't um, set back any of my other financial goals for this year. With that being said, <laughs> I am going to sell things to you for the rest of this video. <laughs> One of the things that I've decided to add to my usual side hustle business um, is Postmates. I'm going to try to Postmates on weekends. Um, Bryce already works on Saturdays, so why not instead of just sitting at home, go post me while he's at work and um, make some extra dough. <laughs> um, one of the side businesses that I that I kind of continuously have running but I've never really talked about is I sell my clothes on Poshmark. <laughs> I go through clothes really quickly because I get I get bored with them easily. And also I just have a lot of clothes that I've been holding on to for way too long that just don't fit me anymore. So I have tons and tons of stuff on my Poshmark. There's a link down below. Um, but I have a couple things here that I feel like might need a little bit more than a picture um, to fully comprehend the whole piece. Um, so I'm going to share those with you, with you today. So the first thing, they're kind of in a random pile right now. Um, the first thing that I'm going to show you, and I'll probably do some B-roll for some of these. I might try them on. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but get it. The first thing I'm going to show to you is this cute tank top. It's got kind of like a rounded v-neck instead of a regular. Um, the bottom is like that high low flowy sort of thing and in the back you can untie this horrendous knot that I put in it um, pretty easily and then tie like a cute little bow or just leave it in a knot like what I have it. Um, and then it's open and that is super cute. I used to wear that to work a lot with like a cardigan over it. Um, or you can wear it by itself, you know, in the summer with the heat and all of that. The next thing that I have is a little sweater. It's 
got like this maroon and white kind of material. Um, it is by, oh, this is Old Navy and it is a size and you'll see this on my Poshmark, but just for this video's sake, it is a XXL. Um, my Poshmark sizes range from about XL and I think I might have a couple 4X, but anywhere all the way up through that. Um, and then like for bottoms, it's 18 to 24, I think. So if you're that size, you should go check out my Poshmark. <laughs> um, so anyways, here the here is this sweater, but it has like this floppy, oh, that doesn't make it look very attractive, but it has like a floppy um, collar, kind of like a loopy turtleneck, but not really a turtleneck collar. Um, it's really cute. And it is a 2X by the brand Sunday. I'm not really familiar with that brand, but it's got the three quarter length sleeves. I just feel like the collar is really hard to envision in like a picture. So I wanted to show you how it kind of like moves with all of that good stuff. And then this, I will probably have to add some B-roll for because it is a super, super long, like super long cardigan. Um... It's really cute. I just don't own anything in this color and I don't really feel like this color looks good on me. It's got this cute design back here. This is a 4X from Torrid and I'll probably insert some B-roll for it here. So this is how long this cardigan will be. Again, super, super cute. Just not, I don't think it's my color. Next thing is another Torrid cardigan. Um, this one is a two and it's just a flowy maroon cardigan. Um, it's got cute little pockets um, and it's really really cute. It's just not, it doesn't fit me right. I like to have cardigans be like way big on me. So that is that. This is just like a sweater cardigan thing. Vest. That's what I meant to say. It's like a sweater vesty thing but it's super flowy um I've never even worn it just because I don't ever have a reason to wear vests I'm not really a vest gal um it also has pockets so that's super cute um this is Croft and Borrow XXL this is the vest and then I have this cute dress LBD little black dress. Um, it's kind of form fitting, but it's super flowy up top. It has like this um, crisscross pattern in, in the front, and then we have like this thing in the back. Um, it's really, really cute. Again, just not my size anymore. Um, this is from Forever 21's Plus line, and it is size 2X. And this I'm definitely going to have to do B roll for, um, but it's just a maxi skirt that I'm too short to wear <laughs> unless I wear heels and let, frankly I'm just not a heels girl it's, it's not gonna happen I'm never gonna be in the mood to wear <laughs> heels so that I can fit in this dress but it's got a cute little slit on this size and again put the b-roll here so I've been fighting with this angle too much so basically you're getting me on a chair in a skirt that is way too long for me but this it's also a little too tight on me, I think. I have very, I'm a very tor torso-y, torso lady. So anyways, here's where the slit comes on me. I didn't take my leggings off. <laughs> That's where the slit comes on me. Um, it's super, super flowy. Very cute if it's your thing. But again, I literally have to wear it up to my boobs to even like be able to walk. And then like the slit is all the way, way too high on me if I do it that way. So anyways, this is the long maxi skirt. Last but not least, I have this super cute sweater. Um, it's got the three quarter length sleeves um, and it's got these really cute buttons that are on the shoulders, but they don't really 
picture very well because of where they sit like on the hanger you can't even see them at all but they're super super cute and I love this so much I actually just like I ended up with two of these um and I just don't really like to have much clutter in my closet that's why I sell my clothes pretty regularly um but I still love that sweater so this is definitely a good buy I highly recommend this and it is Rose and Ollie, I think, is what that is. Um, and it's a size 3X. So, that is all of my Poshmark stuff. Um, other ways that you can support me, I write vo write uh, articles for Vocal. I'll link um, some of those articles down below. You can add to my tip jar there. I'm also going to be trying to write some more articles this month to hopefully be able to bring in some revenue. I don't know. Um... And so those are the three main things that I'm doing for side gigs. Obviously, um, sorry, I had an ADD moment. <laughs> Please support me if you can. Um, you can also support me non-monetarily by leaving a comment below and checking out all of my socials, checking out my blog. Um, I now have a Facebook page as well, so you should check that out. Oh, also, something that happened that I just never really talked about, I have my own domain name now. <laughs> so instead of my WordPress, it is now kate.life. That is how you get to my blog and keep up with all the things that I'm doing. So yes, please leave a comment below. Um, and I think that's all I have for you. Okay.